Dangerous situation in Millvale this morning. Part of a building collapsed. The facade started crumbling, in, injuring two construction workers. Julie Grant joins us live with more. Julie. Ken, good afternoon. All the debris has been cleared, and you can see there's plastic up on this building now. Grant Avenue reopened since this morning. If you take a look at that second floor ledge on the front of this building, that's where five construction workers were working on the building's facade when some of the bricks started coming loose. It was around 10 a.m. when emergency responders were called to Grant Avenue between Sherman and Hay Streets for a report of a building collapse with multiple injuries. I saw that one person had a head injury. It was bleeding pretty bad. Dylan Ellison is a volunteer firefighter with the Millville Volunteer Fire Department. One also was still down over by the structure. He was out running close by when he got the call on his cell phone. It was pretty bad. I didn't expect it to be that bad. It was like a whole top wall off the building fell and they had trouble getting him up on the structure. Five workers from Interthal Contracting were working on the building's facade when it started collapsing. Officials say two workers were transported to Allegheny General for treatment, one with a serious head injury and the other with multiple fractures. The uh, one gentleman with the head injury was uh, across the street and not entrapped at all. And the gentleman with the fractures was uh, still in front of the building uh, underneath some bricks and some minor debris. According to officials, the building has been vacant for years and has been determined to be structurally sound. The building is in good shape. Um, it was just the uh, de decorative brick on the front that came off. Fire officials say that Interthal Contracting had been working on the building for two days. An OSHA inspector and the borough's code enforcement officer will be investigating and make the determination when it is safe for that construction team to resume working at the building again. Reporting live in Millville, I'm Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.